while we're waiting for the plastic uh, to melt, I'll just show you a few uh, orthotics that we just William got done gluing. Here's one with a built-in heel, with the heel spur built in, all glued up for the top cover. Here's an X18 without it. As you can see, we suede the base, and all the rest of it has to be hand ground. Here's here's one for a doctor that just wants the heel with extra cushioning in the bottom to the toes. Here's the press one that was being made. Here's the metatarsal bar we hand ground. This one has extra cushioning on the heel. Here's one that's getting ready to be ground. And as you can see, here's the tops that are glued and, get, and, and ready to be put on those gotcha. for hand grinding. We're now, we're now going to press the semi-flexible X18, taking it right out of the oven. Come lay it up here, center it over the metatarsal heads in the back. Push the vacuum forming machine down, and there you go. Now we'll do the opposite foot. Put it right up, center it from left to right, put it down, and vacuum form it. Keep, take a close up if you want. And as you can see, it's pulling deep heel cups on, on, on the machine all the way around. And it's only as good as the work I did previous on the cast to balance out the cast. And okay, we're now going to do Dr. Dr. T's X15. EVA. I'm going to set it on the top press and these are the two pieces I, I cut out previous. I'm going to put it in the oven on top of Teflon paper. Now taking the EVA, centering it all the way to the toe to the heel, so I can capture the whole sulcus area in its original shape. Now you can see how thick this is, so that when I go to grind it from the heel to the forefoot, it will incorporate the thickness of the arch. Now it's time to check this one. Action. I now took the uh, plastic, I cut the fern off, and to save time in grinding, this is the X18 again for Dr. M. I'm going to cut off 
some of it so we don't have to grind as much by hand. this on the shelf for grinding and I'll be right back to take these out recheck what I have to make for Dr. T As you notice, this is all molded. Usually we try to take it to the toes, but minimum the sulcus. And inside the mold, all incorporated is, is, is the first metatarsals. You can see it's all molded down into the thick material. And the fifth, we're added the plaster. Here's the other foot with the first metatarsal. I'm going to take off as much as possible on the top. up for the next shot and show you how we grind them. Cut. 